In this video, we're going to have a look at how much we can learn from user experience research and practice, or user experience, or sometimes UX design. And uh, uh, let's have a look at a, a recent article uh, from the no Norman Niels Nielsen Norman Group, who do a lot of research on how people read on the web. And uh, they have discovered something that is often talked about. It's called the F-shaped scanning pattern, which is how people scan the text, which is um, it's usually in, some, in a sort of an F uh, shape, which means at the top they, they scan all the way through, and then as they go down, then just simply stuck. They just stick to a, a simple line. And uh, uh, the uh, normalism group says that is actually not a good way for them to, for them to read. So some people say we need to format it to follow an F, but actually uh, that's the F-shaped scanning pattern is a bad thing for users and for businesses, or for people who want people to understand the text, because that means users can skip important content, content simply because it appears too far to the right uh, of the page. And they offer some suggestions, and, uh, and uh, as we go through them, we're going to find they're remarkably uh, close matches for the five principles that we talked about. So they start with the information structure. There are important points should be made in the first two paragraphs. We should make headings and subheadings, outline, again, which is, which is again, give the chunks. Start uh, group small amounts of related context, again, content together, again, chunking. Uh, bold important words and phrases using, using guides. Uh, use bullets and numbers to call out uh, items in a list of process. So that, again, it goes to the structure. And uh, so as you can see, that is, that is very good advice. And the other advice is good as well, but it's more, more specific to the, to the web. Uh, perhaps the last bit that I, I might disagree with, cut unnecessary content. Uh, uh, perhaps we need to make sure that it, it, is, it, is, it is there somewhere available for people. We don't want to dumb our text down, but, uh, but definitely not uh, put, it, put it always forward or, or uh, make sure that it is in a place where people can easily access it. But there is a whole new other discipline called UX writing uh, that um, that has emerged, and this is from a website called UX Planet. And there are some very good examples of how you can make your language simpler. So here is one uh, one ex example uh, how to modify error messages. So for example, instead of um, instead of having some of this impersonal language failure and authentication error has occurred, uh, you can replace it by sign-in error, which explains better what it is. It's a more relevant word, even though it's not necessarily uh, simpler. And uh, and then it says you enter that incorrect password, so you're speaking to the person. Now. Uh, the uh, uh, the other thing you can do is that uh, is, is that you can simplify the you enter the incorrect password uh, by removing a few words and you rem you lose the direction but at but maybe you made it easier to read so you can say wrong password so that is that is a useful thing but even that could be improved because the problem is at the bottom you have okay and that seems like it's simpler so that that should be good but actually in this case it was too simple so you need to because it doesn't tell people the option so what does okay mean wrong password so here you have an option to try again or recover password so you can give the user real options that they actually mean something to them. So, so, so that, that is an example of how you can s both simplify and make, make language a bit more difficult, but make it more actionable. Now, another, uh, another UX writer uh, that, has, that has contributed here is, 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 is Mo, Moses Kim, and then he uh, wrote, right, this, wrote this nice article called No Magic Words or How to Write for the Web, and, and one of the things that that, that, uh, uh, that article talks about is don't think in terms of the company realm. Don't think about writing to, to internal audiences, but think about uh, from the user's perspective, from the people outside who are reading your text. So again, I highly recommend having a look at like that because that has some good, good examples. So th these are some of the basic lessons we can learn from uh, UX re research, uh, but I recommend that you, you spend some time reading more uh, from that area because there is definitely good advice and a lot of good experience on how to make your documents more readable and actionable. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to get there.